While investigating the estate of Sir Ralph de Sudley, I chose to visit a nearby well dating back to 819 Common Era. Holy wells were very important in the medieval world and all were wrapped up in mystical legends. Not all historic monuments are easily accessible and may be on private property. In this case, St. Kenelm's Well is behind the house on a working farm with sheep. Any investigation includes having to watch out for local pedestrians of feather, fur, and human alike. The would-be King of Mercia, Kenelm, was murdered by his ambitious older sister. He was only seven by some accounts and in others 18 years old. According to legend, a spring bubbled out of the ground when Kenelm's funerary procession paused to rest. The well house was built during the Elizabethan era. I've never seen such a lovely well house and shrine. O oh, traveler, stay thy weary feet. Drink of this water, pure and sweet. It flows for rich and poor the same. Then go thy way, remembering still the wayside well beneath the hill, the cup of water in his name. There are three historic plaques in the well house, this one commemorating the Dent family that bought Sudeley Castle and used their wealth to bring it back to life. The third plaque is a brief history of the well house. It was built by Lord Shandos of Sudeley Castle to impress Queen Elizabeth I. The Elizabethan well is important, but where is the original Saxon well that Sir Ralph de Sudley would have visited and recognized? According to Zena Halpern's research on the Cremona documents, Sir Ralph sailed to Oak Island in the 12th century. The well house built by Lord Shandos was placed further up the hill, and the door faces Castle Sudeley. This is an ancient standing stone and most likely a marker for St. Kenelm. I found this to be a very strange feature at the base of this marker stone. What are the little cup-sized pits that have been gouged into this stone represent? Notice the original ancient well is bordered by a rectangular above-ground reservoir, not a traditional well but a way to capture the water as it flows downhill. I've seen other holy wells of this nature when funds were short to create a more elaborate housing. I can just see Queen Elizabeth I standing in this well house and maybe even partaking of the clear, clean water which must have been so special outside of London, perhaps taking a moment to pause. There are three important points to make here. One, Sir Ralph de Sudeley was a Templar supporter and would have known of this well and visited it. He would have drunk from the waters of the original outdoor reservoir. Was this well in his time part of a Templar tradition? Notice the progression of architecture from the rough and aged stones of the rectangular medieval well to the squared well of the Elizabethan house and to that of the square well within the Pennsylvania chamber. All three would have been visited by Templars and or their descendants.
It appears there is a direct connection in harnessing clear water from a holy well in England to Elizabethan, all the way across the Atlantic where Templarism was perpetuated. <laughs>